Hey guys, welcome back today to episode number 6 of the Chelsea Career Mode. Now today, as you guys may have seen at the end of the previous episode, we are going into a League Cup tie in the last 16 at home to Reading. Now I thought, as a few of you guys have been saying, there's a lot of young players in my club that aren't really getting A, any training, B, any game time, and C, why are they even still here? Why don't you send them out on loan? We're going to give them a game today against Reading. The likes of Dominic Solanke, Loftus-Cheek, Nathaniel Chalaba, Tamori, Ola Aina, and Asmir Begovic. We are also going to play, as you know, we're going to stick Azpilicueta at left-back as Marcos Alonso is a native left midfielder on this game for some reason. That's the team we're going to use. It's pretty much, well, it's completely different to anything we've done before. And we're going to play. We absolutely cruise through in the last round. We've got our captain back tonight. We've got a few youngsters as well who are here to prove a point. Ruben Loftus-Cheek, the man we interviewed not too long ago. He comes on to the pitch as we try to beat Reading. Azpilicueta, Loftus-Cheek has carried on his run. Here is Ruben Loftus-Cheek. He's done very well indeed there to get around the back. Loftus-Cheek, great ball! Diving header from Barkley just misses the connection. Here's Chalabar again. Forward to Dominic Solanke. He's given it to Chalabar. He's found Batshuayi. It's a good effort. Here is Dominic Solanke to Loftus-Cheek. He's given it again to Azpilicueta. He's done superbly there. Cesar Azpilicueta for Chelsea. Great save. And Ross Barkley with the tap-in. 1-0 to Chelsea. Barkley with the goal. He's never really going to miss from there, to be honest. Great work, though, from Azpilicueta. He will claim the assist. And it's 1-0 in the last 16 cup tie with a pretty typical cup team. Now, Gareth McCleary. He's done very well here for Reading McCleary. It's a lovely cross. Begovic it is who comes to claim it from John Terry. Nice, nice. Lost his cheek. Nice little ball again now to Dominic Solanke, who's found Mishi Batshuayi. Back to Solanke. Lovely little bit of interchange here. And Batshuayi will hopefully... Keeper saves it. Al Habzi again. We took it too close to the goalie for the second time in this game. Loftus Cheek comes away with the ball superbly. Batshuayi to Nathaniel Chaloba into Mishi Batshuayi. Brilliant. 2 0 Chelsea. And that should be a place in the last eight. Gareth McCleary has been very good for Reading, actually. Brilliant tackle from Cesar Azpilicueta. Easy. Game number one is over. We've beaten Reading 2 0. And we go to the game away at Southampton in the weekend with a very, very good start to the episode indeed. Barkley and Batshuayi with the goals. We only had 35% possession, but that was pretty easy. Something else that you guys may not have seen so far is the top scorers. Romelu Lukaku's joint second with six, level with Aguero. And it's Wilfred Bonny with nine goals, who's clearly been smashing it up for Stoke. Max Gradle's got five for Bournemouth. Cazorla, Shane Long, Pyatt, Diego Costa... Albrighton, Ogbonna and loads of other players tied on four. Assists, Cazorla and Lanzini are top. The top one for us is Fabregas with two. Clean sheets, we've had two. Yellow cards, uh, red cards, we haven't had one. Right then, we've reverted back to the regular Premier League team. I'm sure you guys who've been watching the series now from the beginning will know exactly what that team is at this point. Eden Hazard, of course, is back in the team. We're going to try and put this one into the top of the stadium, that was part of my plan. Let's go then. Diego Costa back in the team today, he scored four. He's in fantastic goal scoring form right now. Fabregas again, through towards Kante, this is dangerous. Almost sneaks his way. Diego Costa, who has seen a run from Willian here. Willian, he's done superbly. And he has found Costa! Usually would have scored that. Offside anyway, no, it's goal kick. Okay, that's dangerous. Charlie Austin around the back. What a... I thought that was in. Southampton with the best chance so far. Ricochets off the post. And, well, we've not won for two matches because we've drawn them both 1-1. Don't want to go three games without a win. And that would have been an awful start to the game there. No. Stephen Davis. What a finish. 1-0 Southampton. 18 minutes gone. We're not at the races. So far, or, well, we may be at the races, but we're too busy drinking beers and not defending and doing our bloody jobs. Southampton 1, Chelsea 0. Got to try our best here to get straight back into this match. Otherwise, this could be our third league game in a row without a victory. Not yet quite desperate, but don't want to pull too far away from the leaders. 
Pirlo Kante there has won the ball back superbly. And it's going to be hit. What a strike from Fabregas. And whoever that is in goal, it's not Fraser Forster, has just made a cracking save towards Bonucci, who heads it into row Z. Right then, half time away at Southampton. We are 1 0 down thanks to a Stephen Davis goal. We could have got back into it from an effort from Fabregas. 50 50 possession. It's been a tight game. But at the moment, we are not creating enough going forward, and we are behind. We've got to start having some more shots on goal. Fabregas is injured. Fantastic. We are bringing on Ross Barkley. And we're also going to bring on Batshuayi for Costa, which is a bit of an interesting substitution. I wasn't going to do it until Fabregas got injured, but I think I'll bring on the Belgian. Steven Davis, though, the counter-attack is well and truly on. Bonucci, though, has got pace. And Zuma deals with it yet again. Oh, come on, Chelsea. 18 minutes to try and get something back out of this game. Shane Long, dangerous ball into the middle. It's a real chance and Classy puts it over. Now Hazard. The Belgian, he's done very well here to cut inside. And he's found Ross Barkley. Can Barkley hit the target? Good save from the keeper. It's Hazard doing all the business right now. Towards David Luiz, gets his head on it. Oh, almost dipped in. David Luiz. Now Mishi Batshuayi to Raja Nainggolan. People are diving in here. Nainggolan's ball. Lukaku's header is off the line. What a chance that was. <sighs> Into the 90th minute. We're going to need another late goal just to get an equaliser here. Now David Luiz, Eden Hazard to N'Golo Kante. It's full time. We did not really deserve to lose that. We are beaten 1-0. Away at Southampton, it's our first defeat in I think eight or nine matches, maybe even nine or ten in all competitions. Langolan looks disappointed. He should be disappointed. We are very disappointed with that. It's one nil to Southampton. Right then, we're going to do some training and it's a must-win game really against Everton because we've not won in three league matches now. Good training there from Batshuayi and Diego Costa. Right, Everton at home. We have dropped down to sixth in the table. It's so tight at the top that a victory for now would put us into the top four before Saturday's fixtures. This is a massive, massive game to finish the episode. We've got four emails that we are going to check out, two of which are about an injury. Nangolan, oh, he's out. That is not good. And, oh, crikey. Fabregas' injury in the last game was a broken elbow. He is out for two months. Okay, that's what we're going to go with. Right, here we go. Massive game for Chelsea. Victory, and we get back into the top four where we belong. And a uh, failure to win, and it will be four league games in a row without a victory, which will make the board start to ask us some questions, most likely. It's very, very tight at the top, though. So a win probably will mean a lot for the Friday night, but not a lot in terms of the Premier League table at the end of the weekend. Lukaku, up against his former club, has just possibly played the pass of the season to Diego Costa, and it's a penalty. What a ball. 50, 55, 60 yard ball from Romelu Lukaku. It's a yellow for Barry. Could have easily been a red. He certainly was the last man. Well, here is Eden Hazard. Where's he gonna put this save? Awful penalty. We're still getting used to taking the penalties on this game. And Hazard's penalty is denied to Lukaku now. Diego Costa, he's returned a lovely pass in there. To Romelu Lukaku. Can he get his seventh of the season? Yes, he can. Brilliant finish against his former club. He's wondering. He's asking what everybody is saying. And we are saying we've made a great start to this match at Stamford Bridge. 1-0 Chelsea. And it's Lukaku's seventh Premier League goal of the season. It's his first goal in almost two episodes, which is pretty, pretty, well, pretty poor. But it's pretty good that he's finally back on the score sheet. Can he do the right thing here, Barkley? He's done very well indeed. It's Costa. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from Chelsea. Diego Costa is on the score sheet. 16 minutes in. And this is really making up for that poor performance against Southampton. Both strikers on the score sheet. That's Costa's fifth of the season for us. Well, this is turning into a bit of a classic Friday night game. Three goals in the opening 20 minutes. 2-1 to Chelsea. David Luiz. Here's Willian. Finds Diego Costa, who's done very well there. Willian. Can he find Ross Barkley? He can. Brilliant defending. Could have been 3-1 instantly. Uh-oh. Here's Dowell. 2-2. Two -two. From 2-0 up, it is now 2-2. Two -two. 
I don't know what's going on. I've crumbled. Here's Dowell again. What a ball. This guy's an absolute baller. No. McCarthy. Blocked again. Everton now. What a comeback this has been from them. They've got themselves a corner. Aaron Lennon is going to take. We've got to get rid of this. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. It's 3-2 to Everton. And now Diego Costa. What can he do with it here? He has found Romelu Lukaku. He was looking for his second goal of the night here. It's Lukaku. He's done superbly. Lukaku. Brilliant. Everton defending again. No, we can't concede again before half-time, surely. No. 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 Oh, my word. What is going on? Costa again. Lukaku. Short. What a save. Oh, it's Yannick Balassi. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We have been ripped to shreds. Hazard has done very well indeed. Now, Diego Costa. Spreaded the play nicely to Willian here. <sighs> Willie Un. Wow. Okay, that is something I did not expect. We have been humbled at home to Everton. 5-2. We are starting to slip away now because we've not won a league match in four games. Two draws and two defeats on the spin now against Southampton and Everton. And that is a serious worry. We had nine shots, seven on target. We couldn't really have done much more going forward. Well, apart from score the penalty. But even then, I don't even think there was enough time to score the penalty and have everything else go on. But let's take a look at the league table. It's not looking as good as it did at the beginning of the episode. Played 11, won five, drew three, lost three. We are now eight points adrift of Stoke and Manchester City, who are now pulling away at the top. And a win against Middlesbrough will lift us back into the top four because we have that game in hand. Borough themselves are in eighth. They're only a point behind us and they've got a better goal. Right then, you're probably expecting the episode to be ending around now because we only usually do three matches per episode. Now, I've decided to change up the uploading format of this series. Instead of doing it every other day with Be A Legend, I've decided to lower the number of videos for the series. Now, if you're a fan of the series, don't start you know, jumping on me. I'm not quitting the series. However, we are going to be making the episodes longer but less frequent on my channel. So we're going to play another three matches. We're technically only halfway through this episode now. From now on, episodes are going to be either five, six or seven matches long depending on the matches that we have to play. Now, as you can see, our confidence is low. 65 is in the red. It's not very good. I believe that is exactly what it is in career mode anyway. The next game is away at Middlesbrough, and this is an absolutely huge match. Right, come on. This is absolutely massive. Away at Middlesbrough, the Riverside Stadium. Chelsea don't usually like going up to the northeast of England, so hopefully today we can change that get a victory. We have one away at Sunderland, almost said Southampton then, complete opposite end of the country in the in the cup, but we've got to win this league game. This is huge. A lot of you guys have also been reminding me in the comments that I spent money on scouts and then didn't do anything with them. I have set the scouts scouting now, so the scouts are actually doing their job. <sighs> and Golo Kante, they're just about doing his. Come on, Chelsea, let's go. Yes, Barkley, that's nice. Go on, Lukaku. He's held his run nicely here. Lukaku's ball in. It finds Diego Costa. Oh, wow. How did I not even hit the target with that? This is dangerous. Very dangerous. Good save. Yes, Barkley. That's decent. Now Lukaku. Come on. Let's see if we can get the lead before half time. And Golo Kante. Oh, Barkley was sliding in on it. Not quite. Diego Costa now rolls it to William. Oh, wow. Whew. Yes, what a ball. What a time this could be to score a goal. Diego Costa. I, I literally don't know how I haven't scored. This is appalling. Yes, Barkley. Through to Diego Costa. It's got to be. Yes, it is. 1-0 Chelsea. And it is the informed man, Diego Costa, who gets the goal. It could be a big goal. Currently, we've got a clean sheet. I know there's still 40 minutes to go. It's a dreadful thing to say in football. But we do want a clean sheet as well. Diego Costa gives us the lead. It's his sixth goal of the season. We're scoring plenty of goals. It's just the conceding that we've got to worry about. 1-0, come on. Just the conceding that we've got to worry about. Yes, Lukaku. Nice. Brilliant. 
<sighs> Come on, we need a goal. Yes, Lukaku, you're in. Romelu Lukaku. Has, has something changed on this game since I changed my outfit or something? Or am I just dreadful? Probably the latter at this point. I'm not playing very well in the slightest. It's 1-1 away at Middlesbrough. We need to win this game. Well done, David Luiz. Great strength. Now Willian again to Diego Costa. He's found Willian. Can he find the right ball? It's Lukaku. It's got to be. Oh my! I actually want to cry. That If ever there was something served up on a dinner plate, it was that. That is literally there with all the bloody trimmings. That was the win. That was it. That was the chance. My phone's going off. Someone's clearly listening to me. And they know it's not going to happen. Another draw. 1-1 one, one away at Borough in a game where we should have won maybe 4 or 5-1. But we didn't. We're going to have to change something up, I think. Lukaku's had a dreadful game. His finishing was appalling. But it finishes 1-1 one, one at the Riverside. There was chances for both teams, to be honest. More so for me. Look at that. Two on target out of eight. That is dreadful. And we're going to have to go and see now what is going on. Because this, this is getting a little bit risky now. Without question... The biggest game of the season for Chelsea is always Tottenham at home. In my opinion, anyway. Last season in the real football, it was for different sort of reasons. We scuppered Tottenham's title winning bid. And it's just always a massive game against Tottenham. Always huge. And we are at home to Spurs today. Now, we're going to start playing some of the youth players as we've been asked. But I don't think this is the match to play them in, if I am completely and utterly honest. I am going to make some changes, though. David Luiz is going to drop down. And we... Oh, yeah, I forgot. We don't have Matic anymore. But we do have Nine Golan, which is decent. Uh, Luiz can go in there for Victor Moses. And I'm also going to start Batshuayi alongside Diego Costa, just to give him a little go. It is a big game to put Batshuayi in and drop Lukaku. But Lukaku's finishing was so poor... Under, under my control, which is the irony, uh, in the last game against Middlesbrough. But this is huge. Come on, Chelsea at home to Tottenham. This is a massive match. Even though we're seventh in the table, it is very, very close at the top. So a victory, and we could, well, I think because we're playing on the Friday night, we will move into the top four, at least for the meantime. Also, guys, I know that these episodes include a lot more matches than the previous ones. If you are a fan of the series and want to see it more often... Please support it by dropping a thumbs up on the video. The reason I'm uploading less of it is because it isn't one of the more popular series on my channel and more popular videos, but I do want to do more of it if you guys want it. So let me know in the comments if you do want to see more. I'm going to keep the episodes long, but I've got some defending to do first. Harry Kane has put it in. That, that's appalling. I had two men on him. Should have left the keeper in the net. And made the tackle one of the defenders. Harry Kane's given Spurs the lead. This is exactly what happened in the real life fixture last season. We can come back and win it though. But yeah, drop a thumbs up on the video if you want to see more of the Chelsea career mode. And you're enjoying this bumper long episode. Which is going to be the standard from now on. Here's Batshuayi. He's given a chance. Got to give him the ball in the box. That's where he's going to do the business. Kante rolls it forward to Diego Costa. Got to do something with the ball here. Kante, come on. Yes, Barkley, that's nice. Come on, Costa, you're on side, son. Speaking of son, he's come back and bloody won the ball off of him. Now Nangolan wins it back. Batshuayi's done very well there to feed in Eden Hazard. Come on, what can Hazard do? He's managed to get round the back fantastically. Hazard, dinked ball in. Stolen. Kante, he's got a score. Brilliant save again from Hugo Lloris. We're playing some great stuff. We've just got to get the ball in the bloody net. Barkley, lovely chip ball to Hazard, who's controlled it superbly. It's Eden Hazard, save, Costa taps it in, it is 1-1. We're back in the game and it's the seventh of the season for Diego Costa. A perfect time to score just after the restart. Hazard did brilliantly, it's a great save from Lloris. It may have been going wide anyway. Those are the tap-ins and the bit of luck you need when it isn't going your way. Come on! No! Oh, I want to gouge my own eyes out. Don't book him. Don't send him off. Hazard with the foul. It's a penalty. Harrison Kane. He's going to score, isn't he? He's going to go left. He's going to go left. We're going to dive left. He goes right. 2-1 to Tottenham. The lead is restored. And it is Barry Kane. 
Yes, Kante. Brilliant work from N'Golo Kante. He's found Ross Barkley. <sighs> that little incisive pass at the end. Not there. Yes, go on, Barkley. Come on, my son. There's still time left. Barkley. Corner. Come on. We've, we've had chances from corners already in this match. We've got another one here. Hazard. Can he put in the right ball? He can. Towards Ross Barkley. And the header is a goal kick. That, that's, that's shocking. Hazard. Gives it to Willian. Can he have a go from range? Willian! Oh, dear. My, my shooting has been so bad in this episode. So bad. Particularly towards the latter end. Here's Ross Barkley. He's not going to make it, is he? Not going to make it. Batshuayi has been ineffective. We've been beaten 2-1 at home to Tottenham thanks to a Harry Kane double and a penalty. Pochettino shaking my hand. This, this season is not going to plan. We went through such a great spell of form and now I'm literally fighting for my job. This, this is a disaster. Okay, we've not won very many matches this episode, but one that we should win is at home to Portsmouth in the quarterfinals of the cup. Portsmouth are in League 2, for crying out loud. We're going to give a game to some of the youngsters. This is a tournament we've been playing very well in, actually. We've been scoring goals as well. So we're going to stick Batshuayi up front with Lukaku. Going to keep it quite strong there. Alonso for Hazard. Barkley's going to come off for Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Actually, we're going to stick Solanke on up front as well. Come on. Right then, quarter-final night at Stamford Bridge. We've got Batshuayi and Solanke up front. They've actually been pretty good in this competition together. I don't think Solanke's got a goal yet, but we're going to keep playing him nonetheless. That's a poor ball. Oh, no. This is just embarrassing. I'm losing at home to Portsmouth, ladies and gentlemen. This, yeah, yeah. Just keep the faith in me. We, 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 we're going to come back. We, we have to come back. I don't think... Uh, no, no, no. Okay, here's Dominic Solanke. Oh my word, this is just... I, I don't actually know what to say anymore. Yes, Loftus-Cheek. Surely he's got to finish this. Yes, finally! Ruben Loftus-Cheek, my man. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding? We're losing 2-1 at home to Pompey. Thanks to a wonderful free kick. Got to give the man credit where it's due. We, we can't lose to Portsmouth. If I lose this, I'm actually going to sack myself. I'm actually going to retire from football, from career mode. Genuinely will if we lose this game. We can't lose this bloody game. Here's Dominic Solanke now. Takes on his man. And again. Come on. Dominic, Dominic I've given you a chance, mate. And you're literally playing like a three-year-old boy. Right then, Batshuayi. This has got to be at least the equaliser here. Mishi Batshuayi. Brilliant tackle. Absolutely world class. Come on. On the head. Hazard. I just... Got, why can... All of my attempts are off target. Look. They're pressing me like a blooming iron. That is... This is literally... This is the hardest match I've played. Without... Unbelievable doubt. It's so good. Yes, Lukaku. Surely now. Ruben. To Willian. We don't deserve it. We really don't deserve it. But it's 2-2 against Portsmouth. Come on. Can we snatch a winner? We, we do not deserve that at all. Lukaku, the substitute, with the goal. Roberts has scored both of Pompey's goals. He's been, without question... The man of the match here. No. I... No! I actually want to rip my eyes out. I actually want to rip out my eyes. We've lost We've lost to Portsmouth. We've, we've actually lost to Portsmouth. This episode has just been a disaster. It is an absolute disaster. The whistle for full time is, is gone. It was the last kick of the game. We have, we have lost to Portsmouth. Okay then, guys. That is the end of this episode. It's not been the best at all particularly in the second half since we've had the outfit change it's not going well in the slightest we are beaten by Portsmouth Portsmouth in the cup this is what the league table looks like we're down in ninth we are 10 points adrift of Manchester City who are our next opponents and yeah we've just we've got to we have to beat Man City we have to beat Manchester City Otherwise, I actually think I'm going to get the sack because we're not going to win the league. Straight up. At this rate, we're not going to win the league. Win the next game. We drop 
the deficit to seven points, which is certainly reachable. But I think if City beat us, or even a draw, and we are going to be in serious, serious trouble. Stoke a second, Borough a fourth, West Ham a third. Very different to the real Premier League season. Leicester are doing okay again. Watford are ahead of us, level on points. With a game in hand as well. Okay, that wraps up this episode, guys. Apologies for the poor performance. But uh, yeah, better next time. That's what we got to hope for. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the longer episode and you want to see more of them more often. The more likes I see and the more great comments I see, the more likely I am to do that. The camera's just died. This is a perfect way to wrap up the video. I'll see you all later. Bye.